Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I've got a bit of a odd angle because I have lots to show. As you are probably aware if you're following this channel, I did get a ThinkPad X1 Nano and I opted for the carbon fiber weave top with the touch screen and I've been really enjoying it. Now at the same time I ordered it, I actually went out and got a ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 Dock Gen 2. And the reason I got the Gen 2 is for a variety of different reasons. The first is it was the one that was officially listed as being compatible with the X1 Nano. Many of you will know that of course that there is a Thunderbolt 4 version of this dock coming, but it has not yet been released. And quite frankly, I'm probably not going to push this machine or my setup that hard that I would truly, honest to goodness, benefit from it. The other thing about this is that I was able to get it at a very good price because it was open box. This was purchased from Amazon.com, actually using revenue that was generated exclusively from the channel. So I have you, the viewer, to thank you for allowing me to purchase this and try it out. Like that does actually legitimately help me create content for the channel. So I do thank you for doing that. It does help if I haven't said it enough. Thank you once again. So I'm going to see what exactly this is like. So hopefully we have all the pieces. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. And this is good to see that we have uh, little manuals and things. We have a cable to plug it in, and then we have the power supply for this, which is a 135 watt adapter that's going to drive this. So this is uh, pretty beefy, and it uses the standard rectangular plug that you would see on newer generation ThinkPads. We have the actual dock itself, and I'll give you the specifications of that in a minute. I would definitely agree that, like the seller said, it is like new. And then underneath, I believe, we have the Thunderbolt cable here as well. Let's go ahead and get the packaging out of the way and just see exactly how many displays, at least in 1080p, that the X1 Nano can actually drive. Before we do that, though, I am gonna quickly just go over the port selection that you do have on this dock. On the very front, we have USB 3.0, a Thunderbolt 3 port, the headphone microphone combo jack. Along the back, two more USB 3, Ethernet, a display port, and a HDMI port. And again, over here, two USB 3.0, your power in, your Thunderbolt that's designed to be hooked up directly to the laptop, a power connector, as well as two different power connectors depending on what adapter you're using. So I'll be using this one down here, not the 170 watt one. And of course we have a power button on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we do have the entire thing set up. So I'm going to center my X1 Nano here and open it up. And we are going to plug this in to the first USB port. It detects the dock, which is a great start. So we are installing the dock setup driver pack. And just for good measure, I've also got the firmware update utility. And we're just going to check to make sure that it is reading the most up-to-date uh, firmware pack on that device and if not we're going to go ahead and update it. We now have our displays set up so I have two uh, 1080p displays set up with this Thunderbolt 3 dock using the two display port connections and you know what I want to see how many displays this thing can actually drive so what I'm going to do is grab my ThinkVision M14 portable monitor and we're gonna plug this in too, because why not? Ha <laughs> ha! So we are now up to three 1080p displays being driven by a single Thunderbolt 3 connection. That is pretty slick. All right, so to answer the million dollar question, which is how many displays can this computer run? The answer is three. 
So when I plug this panel in from Lapau, I can't get the ThinkVision M14 to work. However, if I do unplug the Lapau panel, then I do get a signal on the M14. So for those of you wondering how many displays can that little guy over there drive, uh, it's pretty impressive, I think, because driving three panels, even though they're 1080p, is pretty good. And from what I understand, if you want to drive 4K panels, then you go down to two that this is able to handle. At least that's what the Thunderbolt 3 dock is rated for. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you would find that information useful, if a bit comedic. So if you are wondering, can this be a workstation machine with, you know, the thermals that you're going to get in a chassis that thin? The answer is, yeah, you can have uh, some pretty cool setups. I don't necessarily know if I'd call this cool. I'd call this more of a kludge or a mess or a cacophony of screens, but we now have the answer to the question. If you enjoy this sort of content and would like to see more information on the Nano, then I am going to encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So the next time I do some tinkering with the Nano, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.